heard Monique Jones coming to the stage, this is not what you expect. <laughs> I look like the lady who would call the cops on Monique Jones. <laughs> Makes it easy to look me up though online. It's Monique Jones. I'm the white one. <laughs> I first became aware of the racial profiling of my name in high school. I'm from North Carolina. Woo! Yeah, baby. Woo! Grits! <laughs> That's my takeaway from the South. Uh, I went to high school pre social media. Went to meet my boyfriend's parents at his house. His mom answered the door. I said, Hey, I'm Monique Jones. And she said, really? <laughs> look at you, look at you. <laughs> we were just talking about you over prayer. <laughs> it's so nice of them to pray for me before they even met me. <laughs> I, uh, ladies in LA freak the fuck out when you call them ma'am. Right? I, I called this lady ma'am yesterday. She acted like I called her fat and stupid. <laughs> Stop being offended when I call you ma'am. <laughs> I'm from the South. It's part of our vernacular. It's like breathing. Do you know the abuse I had to endure to have ma'am become an involuntary response? <laughs> Did you just yes? Your mother? <laughs> Look at me when I'm talking to you. Sit up straight, suck your stomach in. I own you till you're 18. <laughs> yes, what? <laughs> Don't yes your mother in my house. Yes, what? <laughs> when you used to man, it was just a form of PTSD. <laughs> Not calling you old, just fighting for my life. <laughs> Reflex. I don't get offended when you blink, so take it. <laughs> the opposite is what I had to get used to when I first moved out here and you didn't say ma'am, right? For example, I'd have you at my house, I'd say, can I take your coat? You'd say yes. And I'd take your coat. I'd say yes, what? <laughs> and you'd take your coat back and leave. <laughs> Took a minute to get some friends. <laughs> Speaking of friends, I have this friend who closes her eyes for emphasis. Do you know these people? She's like, hi, it's so good to see you. Is it? <laughs> I haven't seen you in so long. Whose fault is that? Yeah, we could be doing that now if you'd stop napping, right? <laughs> Open your damn eyes, bitch. <laughs> She's sweet, though. <laughs> I, uh, speaking of eyes, I, I, I needed to check my eyesight the other day, so I was looking for some fine print. So I picked up the Kroger soap dispenser, because that's weird, but I did. And uh, I turned it around, it said directions. Use to wash your hands as you would use any hand soap. Really? What the fuck is that? I didn't like the tone of the Kroger directions. Right? I, I felt like he was mocking me. But I outsourced this to Johnny at the state pen. He's like, I gotta write directions for hands? Directions for hand soap. All right. All right. Hey, use to wash your hands <laughs> as you would use any hand soap, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Felt like he was looking at me. He's like, hey, Blondie, why you gotta read directions for hand soap? Just checking my eyes, Johnny. Checking your eyes. Maybe you should use plain tap water. I don't want you to hurt yourself with the lather. Fuck you, Johnny. <laughs> He's like, you got nice eyes, though, Blondie. <laughs> Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> so sweet.
<laughs> yeah, I realize I just made him up and had him hit on me. It's fine. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Fuck you! It's my form of affirmation. <laughs> and dissociation. I, uh, y'all, I grew up poor. Fuck. I mean, my parents had money, they just didn't share. <laughs> we had to work for our money, you gotta work for yours. <laughs> Again, I do, I respect that. I just, uh, I just, uh, I'm seven, right? Give me a minute. <laughs> um, I'll get there. I've always taken a minute to get there. Never been on the same timeline as society. Used to refer to myself as a late bloomer until I figured out the correct term. Alcoholic. <laughs> cool, I'm sober now. Woo Thank you. Crazy, because I don't miss the booze. Finally, right? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Do miss a good blackout, though. <laughs> All these feelings. <laughs> I'm gonna remember everything. It's a lot. <laughs> I mean, not like a Bill Cosby pound me too blackout. <laughs> just, uh, just you know your average. Home on a Tuesday with a couple, three hookers and an eight ball blackout. You know what I'm talking about? You know, I, that's not what I, I'd never thought to do that. <laughs> it's more like a couple, three Adderall and some Pinot Grigio. <laughs> I'm hard, fuck you. I'm hard. I the fuck out of some Adderall. Chew that shit up like baby aspirin. Fuck you. I, uh,. I'll end on this. I love podcasts. You like podcasts? Yeah. yeah. You probably have a fucking podcast. That's cool. I just I want to hear how you got to where you are, right? I want to know your struggle. I was listening to one the other day with this young, successful working actress, and they asked her. They said, "Did you always dream of becoming an actress?" To which she replied. I never really thought about it, you know what I mean? It just happened, you know what I mean? <laughs> no! 